I'm sure this will be easy to do. What could go wrong? This may take a while. Three days later. There is also nothing. Or is there? Hey! Blades Master. This is my friend who's doing the same mission. Uh... Jet wings? Oh gosh, it's already glitching. It's already glitching. No. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now if you spawn to the fort, I can write like this. Again? Yeah, how am I bouncing like this? <laughs> now then. This took so long to do. I like how we're all jumping. <laughs> oh gosh, I've still got that bounce thing on. Ah! Yoga with friends. <gasps> no! Oh no! No, 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 no! I'm glitching! Look at this! No! Did I die? And it has glitched all of my color assets. Do you really want me to suffer? I am not. I am not doing this. Uh, where am I? Hello? Here we go again. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am Nightetail, or call me Night. So in this video, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, new to the game, you don't know what the game is, or you're an experienced player. Join me on my madness on uncovering these glitches, these secret items, the red presents, the green presents, everything. So I hope you enjoy. Right, so I'm starting from a character from scratch. So there's water, galaxy, storm, nature, light, fire, ice, and dark. So choose a fraction. Now, I'd normally go dark with the whole night thing, but instead I think I'm going to go for light, just for something a little bit different. Oh, there's login rewards as well, so just for logging in you actually get a reward for doing something. Oh, that's neat. 50 trinkets, oh, that's quite cool. And this is the basic model of what you can use. It's alright just for a basic Griffin model. And this is what it looks like. But I want to put my own spin on it, so I'm going to put one of my old characters and try and make it into this game. So I do actually have a Griffin character that I've been meaning to make in future animations. Now this, this is Glitch. I'm actually happy of like how I managed to turn the older model into one of my animated characters. I have actually planned to do some animations on Glitch in the future because she has a little story and everything but I thought why not make her in game and have a little fun with her character and try and see if we can glitch out the game a little bit true to her name. So for the first thing you're going to click on this present right here in the main menu and you'll see this redeem code uh, with Sonar Games. Now if we type in 30k likes you'll actually get the paintbrush trail ring. Now it doesn't say about this anymore so this is a passcode so the passcodes do work. This is the new code the 40k likes and with this one you get, oh the suspense, the solar wings. Oh and it's an epic as well. So I'm just going to go on to a other griffin save just to have a look what they look like on the actual character. I may put them on my character, we'll see. So these are the paintbrush wings. As you can see they've got like a trail of blue, pink and yellow. That's cool, I might add that to glitch because glitch is like a little bit glitchy with that type of effect. And those are the solar wings, the solar wings look nice. But I think I'll stick to just adding the paintbrush wings onto my character. I don't have that many slots in my character and it doesn't really fit it that much. But the paintbrushes actually do, so I might actually have that on. And I've managed to make it quite close to my concept art. I've added a few things like the cards and these to make it look more, more glitchy as she's more of like a glitched character. And we're going to be finding some glitches in this game as well. I know there's going to be glitches in this game, so the name is fitting. But yeah, she is one of my old characters that I've created as a, like an OC and I've just put her in the game because why not? Why not have a bit of fun? And I think, I think it's a pretty good job like creating her. Now, I had someone talk to me about this game and I thought, well, why not actually give it a go and play around with it and see what hidden items we can find. So we're going to be finding the glitches of the game, anything, any secrets, any hidden items, or new items and... I know they've added a bunch of stuff in for Christmas as well. And it doesn't matter, again, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you've played this before, I'm sure you'll find some of these tips helpful as well. Because I have a friend who actually referenced this game to me, and they said that people have been struggling finding these hidden items, finding how stuff is working, how to basically get started. And here's a tip, the trinkets, the trinkets just go up on their own. So the more you play it, the more the trinkets go up. You have a little XP multiplier thing here that'll double up every so often so you get more trinkets and stuff like that. People are asking me where the shop was, so if you go down here, so that use this little green arrow here, and go into the little shopping cart, you'll see a item called events up here. Click that and it'll show all the new event stuff. Wow, there's 29 event stuff. It has just updated, so there's a lot of new stuff. 
got about nine nine hundred and thirty-eight there. God, I can't even buy the antlers yet. I can buy it. I can buy the bear head. God, it's going to cost a lot to get all this, but I'm sure the more you play it, the more you'll be able to get it. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to buy the hot chocolate now. <laughs> I feel like I deserve it. I need I need the hot chocolate. <laughs> where where is it? Oh wait, the hot chocolate is here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I've got my little lantern as well. Look at this. Here's my hot chocolate. That I've just literally just bought. Look how cute that is! So yeah, this is all limited stuff. Oh, I guess the lantern was from the Halloween stuff. But this, all this new stuff in the shop is limited. And as soon as this event goes, all of this goes with it. And you'll be able to just keep stuff that you've got. You know, to like trade for it if you can. But I can imagine like halfway through summer, it'll go up really expensive for people trying to get them. Because there's only so much people can buy and give away and trade. So first of all is the chest. Now the chest you can get pretty much right off the bat. And they respawn as well, so they, they have a little timer on them that can like redo and you can hammer them as much as you want, as long as you have like the time and patience for it. So you spawn here, right? So here's the trading in, here's the spawn, and if you fly up here and go literally up here, so the rock's right there, here's your first chest. A secret chest here gives you 50 coins instantly. Now then, if you go into the trading area here, you'll be able to see three rooms. And the chests normally look like that, but there is an exception later on, and I'll show you in a minute. Oh, there's some people that are spawning in. So if you look in the first one, there's nothing. Oh, there's people there. <laughs> the second one, there's nothing. But if you go to the third one, <gasps> there is also nothing. <laughs> or is there? We go through here and there is a secret hidden room within the trading area where you can actually get another 50 coins. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the desert. You see these floating islands here? They'll be at, you can see it, the purple chest. Now the purple chest doesn't give you coins, but it is another secret chest that you can find in here. You do that and you can get a free spin on any chest. These can be the locked ones, the level 20 ones, because I got a locked one before from the level 20 and I'm not even level 20, you can see I'm only level 6. Uh, you can get any item, it can be rare, common, you can even get a legendary from these as well if you're lucky enough. I think there's a ratio to that on there. And that is all the hidden chests so far in game or so far that we know about. There was rumours of there being one in the winter area. But for so far, no one's found it, I haven't found it, I don't think there is, but there was rumours spreading around that a while back. Now then, for the next one, what you're going to have to do is find every single pickable up item in map. Now, this may take a while, so I'll have to just zip to the areas of where I find them and where the locations are. So I'll have to show you that in a couple of moments. So I don't know if it's just these swords that you have to pick up, or if it's literally every item, but we'll have to have a look and see. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness, I guess that ignorance is bliss. Blades Master. Anyway, let's check out what it looks like. Ah, there you go. So actually it looks like a sheath when you put your sword in. Oh, that's pretty cool. You're going for more of like a battle type griffin or creature. So the first one is if we go to map and go basically go on every single one. So here's spawn. Wow, there's a lot of people that spawn. Go here. Go trading in. Don't mind me, a teleporting griffin.
<laughs> Look at the streaks when they come with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Looks like I'm moving super fast. Look at that. No. <laughs> 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 And there we go, that is how you get the backpack. Okay then, so if we add the backpack on, there it is. Oh, we can't see it great with my character on. So if we just chunk it up a bit. There we go, that's how it looks like. Next one that we're going to get is in the cafe. Now you see, let's just take that. So we've got it in our inventory. This is the one that you need, the front one. And basically, keep drinking for a really long time like you're a coffee addict. This may take a while. Three days later. Three weeks later. Many months later. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally! Oh, I'm very hyper with coffee now. Let's go put it on. Where is it? Uh, it's a lot of coffee. Ah. Oh. I think you would have heart failure from drinking that much coffee. And just like this. I now work here. Get. So you're probably asking yourself how you can actually write in colour. You see, I can write like this, I can write like this, or I can write like this. But the question is, how do you do it? So what you have to do is go up to your chat bar here, type in the brackets, type in the colour you wish for it to be, and have a slash there. Type in whatever you wish to say, another bracket, and there you go. That is how you type in colour. You want to type in different colours, all you have to do is do something like this. So what we have to do in this round is go to Mushroom Grove. This is my new friend here. And get one of these marshmallows. Turn the fire on. And stick it like that. I did try that this before with sitting down and my head locked and for some reason it didn't work. So I'm guessing that if you just stand like this, it should work better. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. And this is what they look like. Look at the horns. Oh yeah, I forgot I added some like invisible stuff to them. But yeah, they, yeah, they look quite good. They've got like a fire effect as well. This is my friend who's doing the same mission. So by doing this, you'll be able to get these. And now, on to breaking the map. <laughs> ah, let's go. Okay, so first of all, you must find some water like this, right? And then jump in. Oh gosh, it's already glitching. It's already glitching. Oh. <laughs> Da da dun 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 ah! <laughs> Oh no! I'm going! I'm going! Oh no, my friend! My new friend! Where have they gone? <laughs> my friends got stuck! <gasps> and this is how you break the map! Whoa! Whoa! Speed! Ah! I have no idea where they've got Oh they're over there! <laughs> they're over there! Oh that's great! I leveled up! That's what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> They're spinning out of control! <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see all the assets as well. This is good for the doing the campfire mission as well, which we're going to be doing in a bit. Because you can actually see the campfires through the map. It's best to do the campfire mission at night as well. So we have to light every campfire. Shall we start? Indeed we shall. Right, so this is one. This is that spawn. It's another one. There are three in the cafe. 
There's also one over here on this path as well. Now, if you go around this path here, right next to spawn, you'll see the secret cave. If we go in here, this is the campfire that is glitched and only, only a few people know about this one. So do be careful that one doesn't catch you out. There's also the one in Mushroom Grove here. And don't forget the caves next to it. Now, if you go here and fly up, there's also one right above the same cave. The best thing to do it is at night, but I do know a couple off the top of my head. Whoa! Whoa, do it again! <laughs> that was an amazing somersault. Whoa! Okay, we gotta try this. Maybe you have to get it on the mushroom? Nope. Oh, that was so close. Oh, oh my gosh! Did you see that? Oh, and we, we've got the walking backwards glitch. Oh, but that was mad. Look how, like, how fast it was spinning me. Okay, if you come over here, there's one next to the waterfall. Let's just check there isn't any more. I think there was one in the secret hidden cave. Oh gosh, and it's glitching. Mad again. Nope, there isn't one in the secret hidden cave. Don't forget the one in the crater. Next shall be in the crystal cave. There's one right here. Don't forget the one here as well. Don't forget the one on top of this island here. Don't forget this one here at the beach. Now we go into the cave. There's one in the cave at spawn right here. Don't forget the two at the nursery. So one over there and one over here. Don't forget the one right above the nursery. Now if you come literally at the top of the forge here and run all the way down here, there'll be a small cave. And I believe that this is the only one in the snowy area. Remember the fire in the graveyard site in the desert? We head around here. Yep, there's one more in the cave around here in Mushroom Grove. Now if you head over here, you'll head to the edge of the world. I noticed that we're on a floating island in the middle of space. <laughs> Head through the ring of fire for good luck. And remember to get these two campfires. And not fall off the platform. <laughs> and don't forget the trading in one like I totally didn't do. Oh, we did it! We did it! We completed it! We completed it! We got it! Oh my gosh, we got it. We have been looking for so long. We got it. There it is! And this is what they look like. Yes! Oh my gosh. Where, where is where is the happy dance? Yes! Oh my gosh, this took so long to do and there is literally no instructions on how many there are so there's going to be this many on screen right now so please do enjoy this one. Oh my gosh this one took so long to do I'm so glad I had help with this one this is my friend here <laughs> they've been helping me collect every single campfire so that is all of them any that you do see that are turned off do turn on I'm pretty sure we got all of them in this video every single one so I do hope you enjoy that oh my gosh that took so long to do ah we did it we finally got the miners helmet we finally got the lights out on okay well I hope you enjoy that now on to the next mission so after getting that, the next mission is see these mushrooms here. All you have to do is get on one of these and bounce. Apparently this is quite long, so we'll have to see like how long it is. <laughs> I like how we're all jumping. <laughs> we are all bouncing. 
We are the bouncing pile. Oh, yep. Just preoccupied itself with bouncing and oh. One up. We did it. We've got it. The mushroom growth. That was actually more quicker than I thought. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. If you want like a floral design on it. Look at that. Don't think the mushrooms glow though. Let's have a look. Yeah, that doesn't look like the mushrooms glow. Maybe you put like a neon color on it. It might look like it glows. I don't know, you have to mess around with it. But yeah, the mushroom looks quite cool. Now the next little secret is, if you go into the shop, not the event shop, the roleplay items, you'll see these. Red sparkler, blue sparkler, and normal sparkler. What we're gonna do is you're gonna buy each of these. And then all you have to do is get them out of your little bag here. First one on. And the second. Now the third. And here you go. Party time. Whoop whoop. Party 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 time. So let's go have a look at what these look like. And there it is. So you want to make your griffin glow. Now what you have to do is go into normal mode. Now what you're going to want to have is if we go into the shop, is to go on to the clothing right here scroll down and this is what you want you want the astral star hourglass necklace none of the others just this one now it may take you a while to get them or just trade for them if you can but this is the item that you want you'll see that i've got it equipped now if i press wherever this is now and i just move it slightly out the way so you can see it the size doesn't matter of the glow, but this little thing actually glows. What I've done is I've just put a see-through material on it just so it doesn't stand out as much. But this little thing right here has this glowing effect. And it doesn't matter where you put it on the body, it, all the body will glow and the outside of it will glow. So I suggest making it as small as possible and as see-through as possible as well. So let's just put that back in there. I put it actually in the body so you can't see it, or you could just wear around your neck if you want to do that. And at night, it glows. You can actually see with the difference. So if you want your character to actually like has this glowing effect, I suggest going with the hourglass necklace. Okay, so for this one, pick a yoga pose and you must keep still while doing it for a few minutes. Now on to more yoga. Now remember, it has to have the word yoga in front of it or it will not work. Any of these other animations will not work, so it has to be a yoga item. Now everyone breathe in and out and turn into the swan position. I'm going to pick the handstand. <laughs> and got it. We've got the Zen shawl, which is an epic called meditation. You've completed the challenge meditation. The Zen Shaw was quite a long one to wait for, I'll have to admit, 
but I believe the marshmallow one on the fire took way longer. So it's long, but not too long, so you're alright. You can go do this at any place you want, really. But I was just doing it at the yoga mat because we were doing yoga stuff and why not? Why not do yoga together? Yoga with friends. Definitely not cult members. Okay, so this is how you get jet wings. So you must fly at fast speeds of 200 studs. So it's a lot of flying around, but it can be done and they do look good. We shall fly into the sun. Fly, fly my pretties. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take so long to do. An hour later. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no. I'm glitching. Look at this. No! Did I die? Oh my, oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I got the trinket. I'm gonna have to restart that. No, no, why did I turn into a rocket? Why, why did I turn into a rocket? <laughs> no, oh, talk about blue screen. Oh no. Why did I suddenly spiral out of control into a rocket? <laughs> uh. Eventually. Uh. Disrespect your surroundings! Uh. Oh my gosh, finally! Oh, you have no idea how long this has taken me to do. It is pretty much half full in the morning now. This is taking me like 30 minutes. I think if you do land on the ground, it may continue. I'm not 100% sure on that though, because I did got kicked off the other server because I turned into a bleeding rocket in the sky. And it just started to glitch then. I, I leveled up uh, to level 11 and I was like, <gasps> oh. I was very excited because I thought it was the jet engine wings. And then I turned around and accidentally hit the floor, which then started spiraling me out of control. And I'm like, no, not again, not again. And now look, now look. Oh, it couldn't have come on the better of time. I needed this. Uh, am I fixed? It's not gonna throw me off. And that, that is everything in the game. Oh. Excluding the event stuff, obviously, but everything that you can get in the game right now, that is everything. All the secrets, all of the missions, all of the prizes, all of the boxes, everything that you need to know is now here. It's now finished. I have almost got three grand and I am level 11. Okay. Okay, we've got it. We've got to try the wings. We've got to try the wings. You know what we're all thinking. You got to try the wings. Before I do that, before I try on the wings and show how good that these look, I'm gonna buy something from the event shop because I am here. Why not? Ooh, Krampus horns. I'm gonna buy a bear head. I wanna see what the head looks like. Now there is another, it's not hidden. It's actually quite common knowledge. It's not really a hidden one. But if you buy all of the body parts in the shop, which is a lot of money, I think it's over five grand at least to buy everything, you get some special wings. That's kind of it. That isn't really a hidden uh, item. It's just a perk of what you get from all of these items, which... Do you want me to suffer? Do you? Do you really want me to suffer? I am not. I am not doing this. No. <laughs> so I'm buying some event stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm going to buy... I'm just going to buy crumpy stuff. I'm going to buy... You know what? I'm going to buy the horns. I guess I can't buy the other one now, but that's fine. And I'll buy the cape. Why not? And there's these, but I want the cape. I'm having the cape. I bought the cape. I have 151 left to spend. What would you pick if you had 151 left to spend on here? You know what? I'm going to buy the candy cane antlers. They, they look kind of cool. I'm just waste harness though. I'm going to buy the antlers though. 31. 
I can't even buy it. <laughs> I can't even buy the panko. It's fine. But I don't know. Let me know. What would you pick? What would you pick with that money? Would you just gone straight for the expensive stuff? Would you have picked uh, more of the body parts? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, right. You've all been waiting for it very patiently. I know. Let's go try on the wings. Let's head down to spawn. Literally no one has these wings. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been trying to do this for. Ah, uh, look at that. It's actually got like a little animation to it, like from the little embers. And this is what it looks like. So, we're after the presents. Let me show you where all the presents are. So start back at spawn and come here. All right, here is your first present. So get close enough and press E or whatever it is and there'll be 15. So let's go find the rest of the 14. So the second one is still at spawn. And if we come here to the floating islands, literally past where that chest is, where before, there is another up here. This is number two. There should be another one somewhere. Okay, so follow me, we're back at the trading inn again. I'm trying to show landmarks so you know exactly where these are, because there is no map currently in-game. You've only got the teleportations. Now, you can't see anything for the moment, but... Ooh, fish! Fish! Anyway, so you can't see anything at the moment, but if you look in there, you can see a tiny little present, it's quite hidden. Now, if you're quite big... Oh, I'm level 7! Yay! I'm level 7! Ooh, bird's cool. I've unlocked a crate! Anyway, if you see if then there, there's a present. Now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go on to there you go, subscribe to Night Tail, hint hint, wink wink. Uh, go on here and go to age. You're gonna have to spawn yourself as a child. And then you can come in here and grab it. Three out of fifteen. Here's another. So if you look at that past just there as a reference point, it's at the yoga place. There is one right here. Now, if you come to the desert, there's one here. And now if you spawn to the fort here and look behind me. Get rid of them wings. There should be one on the pedestal here. Now, if you come around the fort, There'll be a cave like this. Let's head in. And there's another one here. Now, if you come to the back of the map, there's a waterfall right here. And if you turn around, there is one right there. That's number eight. Now, if you go to the forge, there is one right up here. And now then, if you spawn at the beach here, nice Hawaiian beach, we shall see these dens here. You can see there's already one in this one. That's number 10. Only five more to go. Another in here. We head back to the trading in again. I believe there is one down here. Yes, there is, right at the table. And if we head over here, there's one up here. If we head back at spawn and just fly all the way up here, there is one right there. And the last one, we back at spawn again, 
and head into this little cafe. We're going to rob the desk and jump over it. And there is one hidden just behind here out of reach. And this will be the last one. Ta-da! What do we get? Ooh, we got a ribbon wreath. Okay, I am putting that on right now. <laughs> and there is the ribbon wreath. Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. Very Christmassy. I'll add the cards back on. I'll angle them a little bit lower so we can still see it. Maybe something like that. And that's what it looks like with all of them on. But now with the new update that they've just released, there are some other presents you can get. These are the red presents. And this is how you get all of them. So if we head down to the bottom of the volcano, there is one here. All we have to do is head up here. And there is the other one. Ah, don't worry, it's totally not burning me this. I can just casually walk on lava. Now do be warned, all of these will be disappearing once the event is over, so if you can get them now, I would suggest getting them now. Oh! Okay! Uh, I didn't expect that. Oh my gosh, look at what hap what's happened to my character! Oh, let's get the wings out. What has happened to my character? What happened to it? It's all purple! I was purple before, but now it's all purple! All the white is just gone, I guess, besides from the palettes for some reason. My beak? My beak is suddenly... it's changed colour. What has gone on with my character? Can we can we get out this way? Nope, invisible barrier. Oh look, look, I can... I'm slowly get... yeah, this, this is fine. This is fine. I am in the wall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Glitch isn't happy. I am floating now. This this is me floating. Can we fall? No. So after glitching, we are back. There is one right here. Very sneaky one, that. Huh? Alright, two more to go. Oh, um... I'm not on anything bouncy. How am I bouncing like this? <laughs> Look at my legs, they're not even touching the ground! What? Room number two, what is behind it? <gasps> Present! Oh gosh, I've still got that bounce thing on. Ah! Yep, that, that's fine. I, I will stay, I will stay here. Number 14, a last one to go. And if we head back to the waterfall, and there is a secret little cave. We go here. And this should be the last one. There it is. What do we get? Ooh, decorative ankle tops. Climb them. So tell me, which is your favourite item? I think my favourite item has to be a draw between the fire smalls and the actual, like, jet wings. I think the jet wings look amazing. I love the little animation to them as well, like the different colour of the animation. But I don't know, let me know in the comments below which one is your most favourite item out of this lot. Or is it some of the Christmas stuff that's Christmas stuff that's on my other character? Let me know. And this is it. This is the different look. Finally, after getting everything. Whew. If you're planning to do all of this video and start from scratch and do every single mission, do be aware that it will take a while to complete. Some things are more worth it than others. Those wings took such a long time to do, but if you persevere, you will eventually get them. These are legendary items as well, and they are hidden items, but hopefully now this video will help you to actually do them and complete them. And I do hope you enjoyed. Please 
hit that like button. I took so long to make. <laughs> took so long to do. Ah. Shout out to the people in this video that helped along the way, that helped find the campfires, that wanted to learn how to do some of this stuff with me. Uh, but do do comment in the comment section below. I will be reading them. I will be replying to a couple as well because I'm really curious which is your favorite. Mine definitely has to be between the wings and the fire antlers because the fire antlers are just so cool with the fire effect. But I also love the wings because they're so different and unique. I literally have not seen anyone with these wings. I'm the only one in this server with these wings. <laughs> oh. In either case, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've stuck through it with the madness and just me slowly going insane as I do all this. I think it is like 5 a.m. in the morning now. Oh my gosh. I am Nighttail. Call me Night. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye bye.